Look, what the Israelis are doing in Gaza is not in America's strategic interest. And in fact, President Biden understands this now. And President Biden is interested in reining the Israelis in. He's used language like this. He has said that Israeli behavior is over the top. He said that they are engaged in an indiscriminate bombing campaign. And it's quite clear he's had numerous telephone conversations where, with Benjamin Netanyahu, where he has tried to rein him in. Uh, and he's failed. Now, I just made the point that this is not in America's strategic interest. From a moral point of view, it is clearly not in our interest. It's quite clear to me uh, that the Israelis are committing genocide in Gaza. And in fact, the International Court of Justice just ruled that there is uh, substantial evidence to think or to conclude that Israel is engaged in a genocidal campaign against the Palestinians. Well, the Biden administration is complicitous in this genocidal campaign. This is not in America's national interest to be uh, involved uh, in a genocidal campaign. And furthermore, as I said earlier, it's not in our strategic interest. So the question is, why can't Biden use the immense leverage that he has at his fingertips as the president of the United States to coerce the Israelis to stop this murderous campaign? And the answer is the Israel lobby. Uh, the Israel lobby is one of the most powerful interest groups in the United States. Uh, and uh, it wields tremendous influence on what U.S. Middle East policy looks like. And Joe Biden is in a situation where there's no way that he can get Israel to change its behavior without paying a huge political price. And for someone who is up for re-election in November of this year, the last thing that he wants to do is take on the Israel lobby. Because if he, you know, went after Israel and got tough with Israel and used all that American coercive leverage on Israel, the lobby would go after him hammer and tong, and they'd go to great lengths to make sure that he got defeated in the fall. So Biden, even though he thinks that what Israel is doing is not in America's strategic or moral interest, is incapable of doing anything to stop it. And it is, again, largely because of the lobby.